Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about how I used AI in my latest Cherizard vs Professor Oak video. If you haven't seen it yet, here's the link to it and I will also come back to it later in the video. Nowadays I hear a lot of negativity towards AI. For example, the most popular one is that many people say that AI can take their jobs away. Yeah? Uh, in some cases that's probably true, it's bad, but uh, AI can also do a lot of good. And in this video I want to show you exactly the positive aspects of AI, how I and how you can use it in your work. If it wasn't for AI, I don't know how long it would have taken me to finish this video, because the tools that I used really, really helped me a lot. As you can see, this clip we have is vertical. We also have this realistic camera simulation here, but actually it all started with this square wide angle shot. And yeah, then I just cropped it and added this camera shake to make it look like a real shot. So I originally collected references for the project and here's one of them. A very popular place, uh, as I understand, is somewhere in Japan. Initially I wanted to use this picture for my video, but I found something better. This is what I end up finding. Um, I like this one better, but both pictures have their disadvantages. If there wasn't enough space for a vertical video here, in this photo there are cars moving and people standing still. So I had to get rid of them. I personally am no expert in Photoshop, I can do something there, but I feel that an AI would do a much better job than I would in this task. So let me introduce you to my first tool. It's called NMKD Stable Diffusion UI, or GUI, I don't know really. So what is it? You all probably have already seen and know about the existence of image generators. They can create just anything you type. And three most popular generators are Dali, Midjourney, and one of them is Stable Diffusion. The last one is open source. That means it's free. You can integrate it into your applications. You can do whatever you want with it in general. It's basically available for everyone to use. And in order to use it, there are different websites that provide this AI, but they kind of monetize it and you have to pay extra. Also there are ways to use this stable diffusion with some sort of programming. In general I'm just a regular user, I don't understand all this programming, coding, I don't like the websites where there is a restriction, so I found this version of stable diffusion, NMKD. Some very kind person just put it all together, all in one handy application. And all you need is to download this archive, and here is everything you need. You don't need to install anything else. The only thing that you need to do is to unpack the archive and open this file. And that's it! Everything is ready. Now you can type in anything you want. For example... Uh... Keanu Reeves eats donuts. Why not? Now let it sink for a while and then it will generate five images for me. Bruh. <laughs> Where are the donuts? Oh, here! There we go. Okay, so it worked on the fifth try. There are some parameters that you have to tweak, and if you set it right, there's probably a good chance that you'll get what you requested. But you might ask, what does this image generator have to do with this photo? It's already got everything. Well, this AI isn't just capable of generating images, it's also capable of editing them. And now I will demonstrate it to you. Here I have selected this image, and now I will write my prompt. It will be... It will be... Um, empty streets? Uh, no, empty road. And now it asks me to paint over everything unnecessary. Anything that needs to be hidden. I will very quickly paint over it all. So... 
I've already done it beforehand and now I'm just going to do it really quick for just for the presentation just to show you how it all works yeah the first time I did it I mask everything much more carefully uh, there's some I don't know I don't even know what it is some dirt but as you can see the road is empty uh, feels like some sort of post-apocalypse well yeah the road is empty just just like I told you and that's about how I cleaned up this photo and it took me as you can see instead of I don't know half an hour uh, an hour of work only about 10 seconds so the image is done and let's go back to the beginning what was my idea in the first place? The idea was to make a, some sort of a Pokemon promo video, specifically for the made-up show Pokemon UFC. I really wanted it to look like, like a real UFC promo, where they show epic fighters in some epic hero poses. And I also really wanted to have some cool voiceover in the background that would present these fighters. And of course, some cool script for the voice. The script needs to be in some way intriguing, so that the viewer would want to watch the fight. I don't usually write scripts for voiceovers, well, I mean, I'm just not good at it, especially for TV shows. I think for television, if I had the opportunity and, of course, money, I would just hire someone to write such a script for my commercial. But luckily for me, I have another tool with AI. I think you all heard of it. It has become so popular lately. Just everyone is talking about it. Of course, it's ChatGPT. Before that, we were looking at image generators, but now it's a text generator. It can write anything for you. Lyrics for rap music, poems, uh, jokes, puns, anything. For instance, we are talking about Pokemon right now. Let's ask it to write a joke about Cherizard. Mm, well, maybe some people will find it funny, but overall it did a good job. It wrote what I asked it to, and that's pretty cool. Here I have my last conversation with it, where I asked it to write me a description for Professor Oak as a UFC fighter. And it gave me this whole paragraph. Then I asked it to edit the description a little bit to make it more funny. And that's how I made this script. Some of it I ended up editing myself, of course. For now, you can use all of the text generated by ChatGPT directly in your final work. You still need to edit it sometimes. Maybe in the future versions the AI will become smarter and the text will be more accurate. But right now it still needs human help. So, we have the text ready, we have the image ready, and there is one last thing I need to ask the AI to help me. So, what else I'm struggling with? As I told you before, I wanted to have a voice in the background, like a narrator's voice. As you already know, my pronunciation is not perfect, so I wanted a voice that could please you and that wouldn't make you ask questions like, who did they hire? Why? Why on earth is this guy reading this text to us? So, I found a great website called play.ht. In fact, there are a bunch of sites on the internet where you can generate an artificial voice. I've tried a few and ended up with this one. Because there's a lot of customization and I just love the way the voices sound. So, let me demonstrate to you. I put my generated text in here and let's listen to this particular paragraph, for example. This is where I chose the voice. You see, these all are English voices. There are voices for different languages. I chose this one because uh, here on this website you can find some special voices that allow you to change their emotions. Let me show that to you. So, Davis is going to read us this text with the neutral emotion. Distance for the first big battle on May 14th. 
nothing special, right? What if he was excited? Let's meet our contestants for the first big battle on May 14th. <laughs> That's the version I end up using in the final video. You can also make him sad. Let's meet our contestants for the first big battle on May 14th. You can make him whisper. Let's meet our contestants for the first big battle on May 14th. As you can see, uh, that's, that's just awesome. You can put pauses between words. You can correct the pronunciation if the AI misreads that word. Basically, it's a very cool website. I can definitely recommend it to you. The only thing is not free. Yeah. If you are not bothered by the fact that you have to pay, then feel free to use this service. If not, there are a bunch of other services where you can generate a voice. And now let's take a look at the final video with all the AI instruments combined together. The Pokemon UFC is bringing you the fight of the century. Humans versus Pokemons. Let's meet our contestants for the first big battle on May 14th. Charizard. Charizard is a formidable UFC fighter, standing at a massive 6 feet 7 inches and weighing in at over 200 pounds. With an undefeated record and 72 wins under his belt, Charizard is a force to be reckoned with in the world of mixed martial arts. Versus Professor Oak Standing at a towering 6 feet 2 inches with a black belt in judo and a PhD in butt kicking, Oak is the ultimate fighting machine. His opponents may underestimate him due to his age, but they quickly learn not to mess with the man who can take down a magic arm with one swift judo throw. Get your tickets now! This is one fight you don't want to miss! And just my favorite part is how he yells this phrase. Get your tickets now! <laughs> He's so emotional. I love it so much. And the most shocking thing is that this is not a real person. Just wow. The fact that we can create these voices today is amazing. And those were the three main tools that helped me to reduce my work time. I honestly don't know how much time I would have spent if I had to clean the image myself, if I had to write all the text myself, if... Well, I guess it would have taken a little time to do the voiceover and... Actually no, a lot. Because I would have wanted my voice to sound good. And so I would have re-recorded and re-recorded my voice a bunch of times. So yeah, AI not only helped me to reduce my work time, but it also made my work much better. You know, it's the same as if you had your own company. Imagine you're the boss and you've hired some professionals to help you with your project. Again, in different areas, in graphics, in writing and in voiceover. When I used AI in my work for the first time, I realized that it had enormous potential. As you can see, in my case, it didn't do everything for me. It only did some of the work that I couldn't do on my own. Think of AI more as a helper, not as someone who would replace you. Try to find a use for it, and if you are able to integrate it into your work, then you will feel much happier, as I did when I was working on this video. And I think that's about it. Thank you all, and please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and bye everyone.